Final stream of the year. I get to be in a whole different year very soon. And then I can make that joke. Where I tell people to stop living in the past. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, let me just get all my tabs up before we get running. All right. Running some errands, all right. Oh, there's more. I'm creating an enchanted staff of phenomenal power. However, I'm missing something. Five iridium bar. Oh, an iridium bar. Not five. He's willing to pay five times the market value, which, yeah, I mean, I guess, but... I'm not willing to do that. I mean, look. I said I was going to do cosmetic stuff, so I will. Ha! <laughs> okay. I don't think I have any more clay. Okay, no, I have some here. It's all good. I just need to think how I want this to look next year. Okay. I'm gonna have a think about what I'm doing today. I guess I'll... Oh, I don't have enough seaweed. I was gonna go make another pond, but it's not possible. I'll just put more bars to smelt. Okay, my cheese is ready. I'm, I'm about to make a lot of money. I need to bring these to replace what I just take out. <laughs> yes. Wait, why is that one not done? Why 
I guess maybe it was a different quality. It's okay. This is still good. Uh, these have five days, five days. Okay. Oh, wait, I should. Yeah, not neglect the animals. <laughs> okay, that's why. Uh, I mean, I might just go buy an auto grabber. If I haven't found one at this point, like it was lucky that I found the one. I doubt I'm going to find another. Oh, wait. I think I put all my cheese in the one. Yeah, no. That'll do. Mm. Okay. Hi Shane, you look unusually happy today. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess, Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer? <laughs> good one. No, actually I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. You know, sometimes I forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. I think I got the blue chickens now. Hi Jazz, I've got something for you. Oh no, no. These, these are real bunny jewel slippers. I'm wrong. But these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said, I. Uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay, no good. I got to get a blue chicken. That should do it. Is 
It's the perfect home for you, Hans. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks. Not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. Ah. <sighs> you know, Charlie, I was thinking. A guy like me, always teetering on the edge of despair, know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me up right from now on i know it what's wrong too much pressure <laughs> all right hey warriors so what do you think my special blue hens i've been raising them in secret for the last few months i well i won't be living here forever and I wanted to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. Okay. <laughs> Give me the blue chicken! Hey, Nick. How's it going? I'm doing okay. It's been chilling most of the day. I'm still a little sick, but... Not too bad. How's things going for you? Um... Hold on. I'm switching up my tactic here. You sick yourself, but otherwise good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it's like over there, but right now there's definitely illness going around. I feel like it's just making up for all the years where it's uh, not been a thing. Anyway, what I was gonna do... Blah. That, aesthetically, that looks better. Why not, huh? So I take it, since you're sick, you're not going to be doing much for uh, New Year's. Look at him, glorious blue chicken. Lord, the bitch crowds are nice. The beach is nice, but I don't love crowds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, see now. These have use. 
Wow. That was quite the spot. I can't believe how much I got from that. Guess it's time to go mining. How many have I found out of interest? Three more! I haven't found all of them, but like, I just need three more. Jeez, we might be uh, doing this content sooner than expected. Three more. That's progress, I tell ya. I thought they had way more to go. Oh yeah, right, I can't come this way. It's okay. Hey, Carlos, what's up? Oh, you know, p playing uh, a Souls game. <laughs> nah, just uh, chilling. Avoiding the heat. I'm not really doing anything for New Year's. I didn't mention this earlier, but, uh... I kind of burnt my foot. <laughs> I got up and they took out the trash, so... And I was like, alright, I'll take out the trash as well. So I went out there barefoot. And I didn't think it was that hot. It didn't feel that hot, but... After being out there for like a, a good minute, my feet started hurting because of how hot the floor was. Where am I? Um, in Australia, Melbourne. It's not. It's not that hot, but. Hot enough for it to, uh, yeah, cause that. In Canada, you don't have that problem, no. But you have the, uh, the problem of snow, right? <laughs> but yeah, like... My feet were hurting a bit for the first half of the day. Do I play Jeopardy with Evie? No, because I find Jeopardy tends to skew towards American trivia. And yeah, growing up here, a lot of the time, sometimes I don't, I don't know the answer to stuff because it's just like, oh, right. You have to be in North America to kind of understand it. We didn't get Jeopardy here because in Australia they tried to make their own equivalent show, but it kind of failed. Wasn't sure because she has a guy that has a similar voice. Ah, got ya. I mean, maybe. Are they also Australian?
But I've, I've been around for stuff like, uh... When she played Overcook, I was playing a bit with that. Just a guy with a deeper voice, fair enough. I wish I could watch more, but generally speaking, it's like when I'm working. But I do try to pop in when I can. Wait, watching Evie play was rough. What, Elden Ring? <laughs> yeah, but she'll get better at it. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna pretend like I was great at that game. I did some things that, looking back on it, yeah, not great. And I had multiple people guide me and tell me, oh, you should be doing this. I think she'll be fine. She'll just needs to get used to the combat a bit more. And eventually dodging becomes a bit more of a muscle memory thing. You helped her a lot in God of War. Oh, yeah. She'll get there. Oh, I should go back. She's admitted combat games are strong, so... No. Definitely, but, you know, gotta appreciate that she tries. And sticks it out, because a lot of people give up very quickly. That's why I suggested going down the southern path, because... If she would have gone to the castle... It probably would have been a similar experience to what I had, except it would have been harder to deal with, because... The, uh, the jail, the Ever Jail, the one that's closest to the castle is one of those knights. And yeah, that was not fun for me. I hit my head against that brick wall for like four hours until I beat it. Like, just chipping away at it, learning the fight, and I probably shouldn't have done it, but it was fun. She's unreal at Tetris Guitar Hero and Jeopardy. I, d I don't know how she plays Guitar Hero the way she does, honestly. You ask around, you ask around here how I am at rhythm games, like, I, I just completely suck at them. I don't know why, but it's just... Maybe because there's a lot going on on the screen at once. Maybe I can't micromanage, but I just, I can't do rhythm games. It's just, my brain is incapable. But, on the other hand, you give me a game that involves luck, or like... ...something where I have to really, really put a lot of time into it and... ...build up something from scratch, I'm into it. Yeah, look at that. I'll play rhythm games just to entertain chat. Because I know people find it hilarious when I play. But, I, yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I thought I was good at Tetris until... Yeah, I kinda saw how Evie played. I was like, oh no, I, I'm just like average at best. In my mind, I was like, yeah, I've been playing Tetris since I was a kid. My hand-eye coordination isn't really the best. I think that's what it is, yeah. But the weird thing is, it's not for everything. It's like, there are certain things that I'm decent at.
We all have our own strengths, I guess. But I mean, to be fair, like the Souls games... Because, alright, for, for, for context, right, like, my job is, uh, in UX, so, like, my job is to look at user interfaces or, like, products and be like, you need to do, you need to design things and lay things out this way, because otherwise someone was, like, someone's gonna get confused. I have to point out, like, hey, that isn't, that isn't the easiest way to use this. That's my job, more or less, so, like, Souls games, they just, they don't have that. It's, Elden Ring's the most approachable game so far in the Souls series, but there's so many things that, like, for a new player, it's just, like, you have to, re you have to refer to a wiki or you have to get people to tell you. There's, there's no in-between. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I played Elden Ring when it launched, so... It's been a while since I've played, so some of the stuff that I was suggesting to look into. It's like based off memory off the UI and I just wasn't remembering it correctly. Like AOS for weapons. See, yeah, I don't, I don't remember that much of that. But, honestly, that's something to worry about later. I never got to finish Sekiro because at the time I started playing, I moved to the city and I had just problems with my internet connection. I'm not gonna go into it, but... I never got to finish it because I was streaming it at the time and then my internet connection was just horrible. And I just couldn't stream it anymore and then by the time I did get that sorted, it, it had been a few months, so... I mean, one day I think I'll try playing it again. Basically, weapons have weapon scaling, right. Yeah, I mean, I, from memory... These scale off a of primary stat, the ones in Elden Ring. But then, if you find a sword that you like, with an Ash of War that you like, you can swap, so then it scales off, uh, like, a different attribute. Not in every case, but in most cases. Like, I do remember I, I had something that leaned more towards dex, and then I swapped it to strength. But yeah, I suggested a melee build because, uh, I figured that after a little bit of tweaking could get that to a point where it felt like one of the other games like God of War. I haven't played a magic build, but to my understanding, like, you need to be better with stamina management than that. And I think ha having a slightly lower health pull at the start would have been... For trying to get someone into a Souls game, I tried to... Make the barrier not as high, you know? Like, give it something familiar and something that's not too punishing. Out of the way! <laughs> Why How does the cat always do that? Yeah, I guess for the benefit of everyone else, uh, today I was, uh, helping a friend of the stream 
play Elden Ring for the first time. So I was, I mean, quite literally backseating, but not really. Like, just trying to offer a helping hand to make the experience a little less convoluted. Because it was their first Souls game. The only thing you'd have given her is the shield. Yeah. That was, uh, like... I guess something I overlooked. But I thought Warrior because, yeah, it has a good stamina. And, uh... It was something that we could turn into, like, a decent melee build pretty quickly. And there's also the possibility that parrying may have been something that just would have taken longer to kind of get the hang of. Whereas in with swords, it's like, at worst, it's just like, don't go YOLO as hard. And that's an easier lesson to teach. I felt like I should have constantly said, hey, listen, just to be clear, I'm not like a Souls expert or anything, but, you know, I do remember things that made the Elden Ring experience difficult for me. I've played uh, Sekiro, didn't finish it because, you know, as I talked about, but I played Demon Souls and did pretty well in it. And Elden Ring, I think I did decent. Not amazing, but, like, I had my moments. Okay, uh, do I have time? I think I have time. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go open these coconuts and then just teleport. If it's medium shield, you don't parry. No. That's right. In my mind, I was thinking parry. It's more the blocking mechanic. But I guess that was the other thing, was because I didn't play that style. I felt like I wouldn't have done it justice. It's okay. I, I think it's gonna work out in the end. I'm pretty much going to suggest, like, get a bit of health to get more tanky and then put some points into strength so then there's the option to swap to shield or, like, just go strength from then on. Because there's nothing wrong with having a dex around, like, 17 early on anyway, so it's okay. Even if you're going a pure strength build. Uh, town. But we'll see how it goes. Really? Okay, there we go. That's better. Happy about that. Uh, my build was strength. Yeah, I went, like, pure strength. And then dual wielded two great swords eventually. So early game, I was using the Morning Star, then... Eventually, I, I found the club and stuck with that for a really long time. And then eventually, uh, yeah, dual wielding great swords. It was really fun. So I was just this, like, beefy strength character. The way, the way I played it, I designed my character, and then I kind of built around that, because the character just ended up looking like an orc, and I'm like, alright, I'll play this like, like a warrior orc character, you know? And then I found the club and kind of le leaned into that a bit more. I think at the start I definitely struggled, but then once I had quite a bit of strength, um, it was a lot easier to kind of just leap in and attack.
Okay, there should be one of these gem birds here. I just need to find it. Yeah, I mean, I I think I was afraid to try a mixed build because I was just thinking I might mess up the stat distribution. So that's why I went min-max because it's, I guess, a bit less concerning. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I played with two great swords. And basically jumped attacked everything while getting hit in the process and then chugging too fast after two hits. Very cheesy way to play, but if it works, who are you to judge? Listen, it wasn't just the play style that was cheesy, there was just multiple things that... Through that play playthrough, it was just hilarious. Like, I was fighting Radan, and I got him down to one hit, and then I messed up, and then, uh... One of my moderators, you know, came into the chat and asked, Hey, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, but did you know you can cheese this fight? And I have this habit of glitching games. I just do it. Basically, every game I play, I, I find a bug or an exploit or whatever. So, you know, I thought to myself, I'm like, all right, what's the stupidest thing I can do here to win? And I thought, oh, let me guess. You take him down to the river and kill him in the river. And I guessed it. And I tried it and did it first try, so it's like Radan died through the cheese way. But I did get him down to one hit, so it's like I would have won that fight sooner or later. It's just the way he died, I killed him in the river with a one shot. He just, he killed himself. And, you know, I was constantly abusing the bad AI, like making him walk into doors. Or going onto high ground, or there's just so much stuff I did. Ooh, is that? No, it's not. I think the last one's just Ruby, I don't need a wait. There's a couple of souls bosses you cheesed over there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with cheesing. It's in the game. It's not like you're doing something... Okay, nice. It's not like you're doing something that the game doesn't allow. But like I will say, I did have moments where I beat bosses first try and they were difficult. The other reason you think Evie is struggling is because an Elden Ring attacks aren't really singled like in God of War. Yeah. But, I mean, I think she's getting used to it anyway. Like, towards the end that was definitely a bit better. Like in God of War, there are a lot of cues, like red, yellow, and green. Yeah, exactly. Telegraphing. There's telegraphing in Elden Ring, but it's through animation as opposed to colors. But I think once you fight a boss enough, like, you, you do get a sense of it. I think it's just a different kind of telegraphing. Should I even bother going in here? I don't really have... Oh, you know what? I'll go plant. And there was also that spot. So where is this? Okay, it's there. As someone who played God of War on the hardest difficulty, you can say Elden Ring was definitely more difficult. Right, got ya.
I mean, everyone's different. That's the thing. Where is it? Isn't this it? Am I wrong? No, 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 no. It's, it's this map here. I'm wrong. the heck? Oh, there it is. And I got a pearl as well. Yeah, here's the awkward part. I don't really have... I don't really have space. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Ah, okay, this will work. Um, I think I might just eat this. <laughs> but, I mean, Elden Ring has some fights that I didn't personally enjoy. Like, some of the... The team fight, the team fight type fights where there were two bosses instead of one, like oh, some of them were very annoying, like god skins. I suppose, <sighs> yeah, I don't know, because there's some bosses where the leveling doesn't matter, like Melania. I think that's the exception is. I think it was like level 140 and I was still getting mauled. I mean, even with that fight, you can kind of argue that I cheesed it because I went to the strategy that worked. I do find it kind of funny, though, that, like, <laughs> here I am, sitting and helping someone play Elden Ring, and then, you know, when they did the streamer shout-out thing, it's like, oh, playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's not very, not very good credentials. <laughs> You're taking advice from a Stardew player? What's going on? Gaming is on a spectrum. Nah, yeah, it's true. I mean, it, I by tradition for Christmas I play a chill game and... You know, one year I played Stardew and it was pretty popular, like... In the evening time, and... Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty good so far. But, you know, this year, I've hit my head against so many brick walls, and last year. Um, Stardew is... If you've ever played Harvest Moon, it, it's similar, but it has combat aspects as well. It's... It's its own thing. But I mean, the goal is just to take a farm that's all dilapidated, and then you just slowly but surely bring it up and make it better. I wouldn't say it's like Minecraft. Like, maybe Farmville, but... <laughs> the aim is pretty much just... 
get your farm to be like a machine. <laughs> but of course there's form relationships and all that sort of thing. People do enjoy that aspect of it as well. But I personally enjoy the part where I'm turning my farm into something that's producing a lot of money and is automated and that sort of thing. You have mining explorations. No, that's true. But yeah, I mean, let's see. Games, difficult games that I've done this year. Um, Elden Ring, a completed Risk of Rain 2 in its entirety, working through The Binding of Isaac. I was playing a ridiculously hard uh, ROM hack of Super Mario World that I finished finally. And then before this year started, Splunky 2. If I like Isaac, try Hades. I, I've played Hades. I've played Hades. I did finish that too. Not 100%, but like cleared the story. And was working on Heat. I think I got up to like Heat 11. But, I mean, for the last year, I've been playing games like that, where it's just, like, some... Some massive thing. Did I get the second ending? Ah, uh... Like, is that... Is that where I hit the mother comes back? And then they plan a party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did all that. That's the epilogue. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering dish from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, poppy seed muffins. Poppies make a beautiful or wait, make beautiful ornamental flowers, but why not make full use of the plant? With these delightful muffins. I'm a huge fan of poppy seeds. They're subtle, but add a nice flavor, a great texture to bready desserts, and they're healthy. Listen, if, if you want a real challenge in a roguelike, it might not seem like it, but... I think the hardest thing I've had to do in any other roguelikes is definitely... Splunky 2's Cosmic Ocean. Like... Because that is both a test of skill... And it's just like, you have to do your best just to avoid misfortune. It is... You've never played Splunky. Okay. Splunky has cute graphics, but I'll tell you right now. It is such... It is like, I think, the most brilliant and evil game at the same time. And the creator wrote a book that I, I want to get. And it's it, it's just talking about his philosophy on... How you balance a game being extremely hard, but people still want to play it because ugh, there were so many times in that game where, like, I had a run where my character was as strong as it could possibly be, and then I'm not exaggerating in a time span of like five seconds, it's over like, just a chain reaction of shit that I could not, I could not plan for. It's nothing you can plan for. It's kind of like... You recognize hazards, but, but at the end of the day, sometimes the game is just straight up an arsehole. Like, ugh. And... The, uh... The way you finish that game for real... It involves doing this thing that... To even get to the point where you can attempt it, it's a 50 minute commitment. And then, once you do get into, the, like, what is considered, you know, the attempt to get the final ending... Uh... I think the run in total took 
almost three hours. And I was attempting it, like, for six months, basically, trying to get this final ending. Is it fighting the goldhead? That's in Splunky 1. In Splunky 2... You have to do a series of, uh, of things. And eventually the final boss, if you've done things in a particular order and have a certain item with you, then basically you get put into this area where the stages are picked from a, a pool. So, like, you know, it's not going to be one biome. Every stage is going to be a different biome. The stages wrap vertically and horizontally. And you have to do 94 stages, I believe. You have to do 94 of these randomly generated stages. And the way it works is instead of getting to the end, you need to unlock the door. And then this... This thing that is like the ghost, but extremely fast, chases you the moment you unlock the door. So it's this thing where you have to find these orbs to unlock the door, and then once you do, you have to plan your escape. And you have to do that 94 times successfully. So... It's, uh, yeah. Oh no, a lot of people are like, fuck that. No, straight up, I, I know... Plenty of people that have played Splunky 2, and the moment they hear about the Cosmic Ocean, they try it, and then they're like, nah, no way. Uh, absolutely not. This is this is not happening. But I, yeah, I mean, I, I hit my head against that brick wall and got it done. I think pretty much since then, I've, I've just been playing... There's always been a game that I'm playing that just gives me some sem sense of grief. So... I think it was at the end of last month, I was like, nah, uh, look. I'm gonna play some... Some games that are chill, and the opposite of what I've been doing to myself... For the past year. So... Here we are. God of War on GM GOW was that for you? It was brutal. Made you hate the game essentially. Yeah. But like the uh the masochists we are, we just keep going back to it. Oh, wait. No, it's cool. I thought I made a mistake, but they're here. I forgot that the order is different to the... Alright, so that's been migrated successfully now. What do they want? Quartz. You found Elden Ring easier, but you have to... You have yet to do the Melania fight. Uh, listen. Get back to me when you do the Melania fight. It's definitely the hardest thing I've had to do all year. Like, hands down, that is the most frustrating and most difficult thing I've, I've done all year. <laughs> I, I absolutely hated that fight, and I still think it is stupid, but I got it done. There's a lot of difficult things that I've done where I'm like, all right, that was hard, but you know what? Glad, glad I did it. It's okay, you know? This was straight up... Like, no, I'm sorry, this- this is so- this is such- This is so unfair, I- <laughs> And then there's Dead Cells where you think you finally finished the game and you realize you finished the very easy mode. Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't gone back to Dead Cells since. But, I'm good, like, I don't need to prove myself in Dead Cells, I don't think. Have I seen the guy with the jarhead do it? I believe I have. Someone finished Elden Ring. 
Yeah, that's let me solo her. But someone else finished Elden Ring without taking a hit and playing with one hand. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Like, hitless is impressive enough, but then one-handed. Uh, let me take presents. I already got a duck feather. Dwarf just needs a geode, I guess. Wait. Uh... Oh, I don't have Omni Geodes anymore. Okay, just... I know I'd have that one there, but I'm not going to waste the last one. How much cheese did he use? I don't think it was a he. I think it was a she. I don't think there was any cheese at all. I, I didn't see it, but I saw it pop up. It was like one of those massive moments in that community. Just someone finishing the game like that. I mean, look, even if there was cheese used, who cares? It's like... To be able to cheese it with one hand, <laughs> still... It's not like it's straightforward. Uh... Am I going to run into Lance today? I don't even know. I'm losing- I'm losing my train of thought here. Gunther needs a present. Alright. We need to go see him anyway to donate the hand. Give him that. Leah. Harvey, I'll get a coffee. Um, where is co where's my coffee? There's a coffee. And then, can I make a salad? At oh, wait, I can't cook here. Can you murder a villager? What, in this? No. But there is, like, a, uh... The mayor who was, like, hooking up with someone. And for whatever reason, just keeps dragging you into it. What's the worst you can do to them? Give a present to piss them off or divorce them and make them hate you. Like, marry them, have a child with them, and then turn your child into nothing. How many can you marry? One. But that being said, you can have a scenario where you're technically dating all the eligible bachelors and bachelorettes, and there is a cutscene coded where you get busted. <laughs> so. I suppose that's probably the worst thing you can do. No, wait. Okay, I know what the worst thing you can do is. I, I got this. The worst thing you can do in this game... Because it goes against the spirit of the game and the story... Is you just straight up... Go team up with the corporation. Because... Yeah. At the start... At the start... The story is you work in a corporate building and, you know, you hate the corporate life. And then, you know, you, you find this letter where your grandfather's left you this farm. So this town has a rundown community center and the whole thing is through magic, these magical creatures, you give them some of the crops you grow and they help you restore this community back to its glory. And at the same time, there's this corporation that's trying to take over the town kind of like walmart so you know you used to work for them now you're against them 
However, you can do a playthrough of the game where you just straight up go, nah, I'm going to keep working for the corporation and just, instead of fixing the community center, I'm going to help the corporation. So, I guess that's the worst thing you can do in this game. Be a shill. Um, can you hold on a sec, chat? I just heard something that I need to check out. I heard, like, a crash. Pretty sure it's just a possum, but just gonna double check. Yeah, I was right. It's a possum. It's okay. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> no, I, I just have to double check in case they're getting into the trash. That's all. And I don't live in the remote area either. Like, I'm, I'm in the... <laughs> I'm in the city of Melbourne. So. It's okay. I was just making sure it wasn't creating a mess that I, I should clean up right away. Otherwise, you know, tomorrow is going to be ten times worse. So, it's okay. Also, hello, cat. Sorry, I saw you pop in. <laughs> I have an hour and a half to go before the new year. <laughs> yeah, the possum said that, like, I don't know. Some of them can be docile and they just run away, but then others, they... 
they can, uh, they hiss, they kind of hiss if you get near them. There was a video of a dude that, uh, had a possum stuck, well not stuck, but it was basically, it didn't want to get out of his barbecue. So he's kind of trying to shoo it away with a spatula, but it just refuses to leave and it just keeps hissing back at him. How's it feel being in the future? <laughs> I'll let you know in about an hour and 20 minutes where I'll start making the joke that, uh, you know, you need to stop living in the past. Or that, oh, that was so last year. Wait, didn't I? Oh, I didn't bring geodes. Okay. I think they auto stack back on, so my bad. Alright, let's just give Gunther that. No. I wouldn't have checked it out if. Oh, wait, I forgot to do it at hand. If the trash wasn't put out today, I, I would have uh, left it. I'd generally ignore it. But this time, because the trash went out today, just needed to make sure. Stop it. I want to... I'm clicking the OK button, but because it's overlapping over a thing... Oh. It's just this. Like, <laughs> I don't care about that. Oh. Whoops. You Google the Splunky stuff? The Cosmic Ocean? Yeah. I think it's definitely the hardest thing I've had to do in any roguelike. The name Cosmic Ocean is reminding of Jojo. Oh, because of Stone Ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is Leah? Wait. Uh, Kat, do you know where Leah would be if she's disappeared? So she's she's in one of the new areas. Where would she be? Oh, you know what? She might just be... It could just be here. Uh, the map is just a fixed area, but I'm playing with mods, so it's a bit larger. The map is not that big. It's just a town, and then you unlock access to a desert, and then later an island, so. I would hate for it to be big. Because you have to manage being able to uh, talk to people every day. This corporation's been run out of town, so they don't exist anymore. Oh, damn it. It's already five o'clock. I wasted too much time. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go chop board then. How do I run them out of town? Uh, pretty much, you rebuild the community center, and then the town's like, yeah, we used to have a nice town until they came to town and started ruining local business. So, uh... The town bands together and decides to boycott the store. Because I, I think it's effectively Walmart. But they don't even say it. I would imagine that's the company they're talking about.
So yeah, you, they boycott them and they go break. They just leave. I mean, this is one of those games that if you really get into it, time just disappears and you'd be surprised how much time you sink into it. Because one day it's it lasts like a minimum of 20 minutes. So you're progressing on the farm and then you're like, oh, I want to continue this. I want to make sure this is built. And then you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Look at the time. I wouldn't be surprised if the new year happens and I don't realize it, honestly. I thought I had more time left until the new year, but then, you know, when I just checked then, the cat reminded me of it. I was like, oh, wow, it's, it's almost 2023. Also, yeah, my break is basically over. Like, I have... I have just tomorrow, and then it's back to work. But it's been nice having the last three weeks off, so... Can't complain. I think it's still going to be relatively quiet in the office anyway. And I... Use that term, like, figuratively. There's no literal office. I think most people are still away for this first week back, so... I should be able to just get my stuff done pretty quickly during the day. Who do I design UX for? Uh, not re not really a well-known company. It's like, it's a small one. It's just an Aussie startup, nothing corporate. I mean, I try to, because it's a small company, I try to keep my private life a bit, a bit private. <laughs> What makes good UX? Alright, it's as simple as this. Good UX is... is like a good joke. If you have to explain how something works, then it's probably not very good. That's how you can tell the difference between a good joke and a bad joke. You thought I worked as like a consultant and had multiple people. Oh, I mean, once upon a time I used to do freelancing, but now it's just, yeah, I work at a... I work at a startup and have been there for a while. Thought I did a thing for coke or something. Nah. I mean, who knows? Maybe one day, if the company's successful, it might be like that. But for now, it's still small. Ish.
Would I ever want to do UX for video games? Uh, no. Because the industry sucks. If I was making my own game and had control over my company and everything, sure. Working for, like, a big game studio? Absolutely not. It is a massive problem at the moment that these major studios have, like, tight deadlines, people are overworked. They're taking advantage of, like, the fact that people are passionate about making games, right? And just, I guess, preying on that, like, want to keep working on something. And then just being like, oh yeah, you know, our employees will just work constantly because they love their job. Does Australia have game studios? They do, but not many. We used to have quite a bit. And their, their branches of um, EA and I forget who else, but... There's one, there's one that's like an independent studio, and then the others, they're kind of contracted to do um, EA's sports games. I got a few friends that work in the industry and had jobs at some of these studios. We used to have a lot more, but they closed over the years. I honestly wouldn't be surprised that the reason they close is just because we have strict work laws here. And, uh, you know, you're not allowed to stop unionization. Two K? Yeah, I thought it was two K, but I couldn't remember. Pretty much if you want to have a career in game development here, you either have to start your own indie company, or if you want to work for a company, you basically have to move out of Australia. The closest... Because I think New Zealand has some game developers there now. Like, the people that make Path of Exile are based in New Zealand. So I think their games industry is about the same as ours, if not slightly larger. Also, hobbits. Huh. Well, I mean, if we're jumping down that path, like... Yeah. What am I doing? Ah. Hey, Laura, just saying hello before you fall asleep. All good. Hope... Your New Year's is, uh, cozy. <laughs> yeah, it was nice meeting you this year as well. Sorry, I'm just laughing because I don't know if I just want to keep saying this, but... I burnt my foot today. On... On the gravel. Because I woke up, I went to take out the trash. And... I didn't think it was that hot, so you know, I walk out to where the trash is. I'm with my bags, and they're kind of heavy. And then about 30 seconds later, I'm like, oh shit, it's actually really hot. So now I'm fucking scrambling to get my trash bags and recycling into the bins. And then running back to the house. <laughs> I think my left foot in particular is the one that's sore, but... I guess that's how my New Year's going. How hot was it? Uh, I think at the time it was like 34. But now I... Uh, let me check. Okay, it's 23 right now. So it's, it's not bad. 
That's hot. Yeah, but it didn't. It didn't feel like it. <laughs> it didn't feel like it. It's my own fault because I, you know, I, I, I had just woken up, and I, I was like, all right, take out the trash. They put it out. Do it before, because it's a shared bin. Do it before anyone else gets there, and then I can't put my own stuff out because it fills up very quickly. So that's why I, I prioritized it but yeah oh boy it's the fishing thing let's see how rigged it is this year I had the worst luck with this a couple of days ago it was negative 15 felt like negative 27 then Canada with windshield you would rather have the cold than heat any day yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The air conditioning here is good, because most places have air conditioning. Not everywhere, but, like, the vast majority. But that being said, in just everyday circumstance, it's easier to remain warm than it is to cool down, so. But it's not as bad as you would think. Most you feel attacked. Well, if I would have said all, you would have been like, oh, not me. I feel like it's a situation that I can't just say it because it's gonna... Either way, I lose. It's okay, like, the understanding we have here is, like, I'm not allowed to complain about winter and others are not allowed to complain about summer, unless they experience the temperatures that I do. I've got this one, right? Oh, you know which one I'm missing? Which rare crow am I missing? I'm pretty sure I have the- I feel like I have the winter one. Damn it, does any- ugh, Cat! Do you know a fan? Someone that's been paying attention to me playing, or at least has been here long enough. I, for the life of me, can't remember which one. Heading off, Laura. Alright, no worries. Well, Happy New Year. Have a good night. I'm just gonna buy it. It's just 5,000. Worst comes to worst, it's just a duplicate. Um, Just talk to Gunther. I think Kat may have gone already. Like, maybe I was away and because I wasn't around, she left. Stupid possum. Uh, sorry. So what's the coldest I've ever gotten? Uh... I mean, gone to the mountains where it snowed and it's been negative three. <laughs> I think is the coldest. Not a whole lot of snow, but a little bit of snow. But I mean, in terms of, you know, everyday living, I would say negative one. And that was probably some time as a kid. The coldest recorded temperature in Melbourne is ne was negative two, and that was in the 1800s, so you know. I'm, I'm a bit sheltered when it comes to, uh, like, I guess what you're seeing on screen here. Like, I can't fathom what this would be like walking on a... 
a lake of ice. I also don't understand how people can function having to walk through snow because of the physical exertion required. I I'd be willing to say that people in in climates like this are probably healthier on average just because of the extra physical activity they have to do when treading through snow like this. To be honest, I like it when it's 10 or 12. It's worse than zeros. Like, fall sucks more than winter sometimes because your body gets adjusted to temperature dropping. Right. I mean, if I had a choice, I would want it to be like uh, spring. Spring here, the temperatures range between 20 to 25 on average. Sometimes it'll drop below 20. Sometimes it'll be a little bit above 25, but... It's nice. We have a wet season, right? Yeah, winter's basically raining in Melbourne. How do you fish in this game? Uh, you just... Cast strength to, for distance, and then when the exclamation mark pops up, you click, and then you click to move the the green bar up, and you release it to let it sink down. And then you just have to keep the fish icon, like, within your green bar. This is an easy fish, but some of the fish get really hard. They, they have erratic movement patterns, and sometimes require special laws to help you catch them. I'm gonna lose this fishing contest again because of this... Re really? Is, is, it going, is it going to happen again? I'm going to lose this competition again. Yep, yep, okay, yep. You know, it's bad enough this happened last year, but really, again, this year. So this, in particular, is a uh, an event they hold where they just host a fishing competition and everyone in town is here, so you have a convenient place where you can talk to everyone and gain friendship. Um, the game without mods already has multiplayer, so you can handle a farm together. I, I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Did the mod change the odds of fishing? Like, what is going on? Why? Uh, I believe someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but you can do up to four. I've definitely seen four people playing this. Five big fresh fish, yep. Unbelievably rigged. This competition's meant to be easy for me. Is it New Year's in the game too? No, no. I'm like in the final season of the year, coincidentally. Um, but, you know, if this was based on the real time... If this was based on the real time... It would be summer, because, you know... <laughs> Australia. But, uh... 
This uh, it it doesn't have months. It's like season. So this is day eight of the winter season, and then there's twenty eight days in a season. It's not a normal calendar. Excuse me. It feels like such a waste of a day, because I, I didn't even win the fishing contest. Yes, I did have it. So which one's missing? The spring dance one? No, that's there too. How many did the other people catch? The winner caught five, I caught four. Every time you go catch a fish, there's always a chance they reel up a piece of algae or a piece of seaweed if you're in the ocean. And it's unlucky when that happens, but... In the fishing contest, it's like, okay, one, yeah, that's unlucky. Two, wow, that's really unlucky. Three, at three or above, it's just... It's unheard of. And I got four. And it happened last year as well. But that's about right. It's like, I, I just have chaotic luck. I'll lose the fishing competition, but then when it comes time to find some of the rarer items in the game, I'll find like 10 of them. Up to anything fun today. Ooh, sounds important. I didn't say anything. Well, it's considered a rare item. Um, in terms of mining, this thing is, it's, there's a chance that you get one from mining. There's like very limited circumstances where you can find them. And yeah, I mean, I think I've found 10. And in a very short time span as well. <laughs> it's, What's it do? Uh, you can sell it for a lot of money at the, or you can use it to upgrade certain items, which I, I have made my sword strong. It's an important material. The first one you get, you get it to acquire the sword in the first place and then you can use another one to upgrade it. Okay, I got my morning stuff done quicker. I guess I should check the greenhouse. It's been a couple days. Oh yeah, right. Fire crystals. I keep forgetting. But this game is just all about <laughs> managing your time. And making sure you're just progressing and getting upgrades in the correct amount of time. Also making your farm look nice. My house is currently a mess. I just haven't cleaned it up. One, two, three. I'm going to try and deliver the salad to Leah. There we go. Okay, I'm going to the island 
and uh Yeah, I guess I'm fine. Thank you kinda go to bed for a bit. No, all good, cause all good. Appreciate you popping in. I imagine that it is extremely late, so if I don't see you again, happy new year. I'll see you in the future, literally. It's seven in the morning. Yeah, go sleep. Wait, I went past. I went past. I thought she was going to be here. I feel like I've seen her walk down this way before, but I guess not. Nah, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll join eventually. Oh, yeah, she's not. What? Where is she? Has New Year's happened? No, there's like 50 minutes left. To be honest, I'm probably not going to notice it. I'm just going to hear like fireworks all of a sudden. <laughs> she's in a cottage. I guess she's just not letting me in. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay, we're done. Australia's only eight hours ahead. You sure? If, if it's seven in the morning and it's 11 o'clock at night here. I don't think it's- I don't think it's just eight. <laughs> Tropical fish. Alright, yeah, sure. That sounds good. I'm sure you can figure out the time zone. I mean... There we go. <sighs> See, the problem of... The thing that I had about winter... Is these spots are generally... Yeah, just that. Anyway, get to sleep, dude. <laughs> Is he... I hope he's here. I think it's kind of weird that he doesn't... He doesn't hang around his no, his house when people are here. <laughs> See you later, cuz. Uh, I forgot how much dragon teeth I need for the banana tree. I think I might have enough. No? What the- where is he? Where's the kid? He wasn't in his house. Where is he? Alright, let's just go to the farm. Why am I having such problems finding people today? Okay, 
cool. Oh. Yeah, that... Oh, this is a problem. Okay, hang on. So, okay, I can... Wait, keep that. I can simplify a little. Oh, the inventory killer. Ah, okay. I'm gonna put these in here. Oh, oh, uh, what? You saw yesterday they can use this to make honey profit. Oh, no, no, no. I know. I planted these before I moved the honey here, so. But I'm probably just gonna turn most honey into meat anyway. And the meat is worth more than, than that type of honey. Like I, that's the way that I'm playing it is uh, I'm gonna use mead mainly. Like, eventually the way I want this to be is, like, first two rows are going to be pineapple. I'm just going to do rows of stuff that uh, grow constantly. Because that's the way Kat and I had it when we played this the first time. And that just, it was so easy. You just kind of leave it and forget about it. It's just I need to kind of get to that point where I can do that. Okay, cool. Banana. So I mean, since the year is coming to a close, I don't know. Should I should I talk about this last year or like? <laughs> is it enough to say yeah? What I said in the highlight reel. That's, that's my thoughts on the, uh... Here we go. Okay. I'll just alternate. I'll go, like... Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I suppose just do this. These just came off, so I can I can move them. I think I might just go with my first instinct and just put them down the side here.
All right, I will say, like, let's see. I mean, I think the game that I had the most fun streaming this year, uh, I enjoyed Elden Ring quite a bit, and, you know, that's the obvious answer. But I think some of the more chill games I checked out this year, like Monument Valley, and just, I guess, the stuff that was kind of a once-off stream, they were pretty fun. And, uh, doing Steam Next Fest was pretty enjoyable as well. Checking out all the demos and the different games. It's fun. I will definitely do that next year. <laughs> I don't know, this looks a little off, but I guess it's fine. Being a big game favorite played was uh, Elden Ring, but then, I mean, let's see. Oh, there he is, hold on. You know what, the easiest way to do this is if I bring up my folder of VODs. Yeah, Chicken Police was, was a fun little experience that was pretty cool. And something that I got through PlayStation Plus, so yeah, it was interesting and fun. Superliminal was uh, another one that I quite enjoyed. It was uh, its problem solving was interesting. But I mean, on the, on the bigger side of things, I'm so glad I finished Risk of Rain. Ugh. Some of the stuff in Eclipse 8, it was torturous, but got through it. The Live Alive remake, I think, was another thing that I enjoyed. I just think... I, I get it was a remake of an older game, but I think the thing where it lost me was the final chapter where it just didn't have any storytelling or characters talking to one another. I think that everything else about that game was fantastic, just like how some of them were a traditional RPG and then others, like it was just playing out a scene and the pixel art and everything was really cool. I did enjoy that. Um, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. That was so good. I'm surprised how much fun I had with that one, and how much content it has, because Kirby games are usually really short. And this one, yeah, I mean, it surprised me, and even some of the boss fights were tricky towards the end, so... It's a good one. Um, I'm gonna continue playing more Zelda games, because I did want to play almost every single Zelda game before the new one comes out next year so i will continue that i just i was waiting for this thing that lets me play Game Boy games in good quality because the gamecube wasn't uh ideal the d-pad was annoying me so now that i have this yeah it's great so you can expect more of that uh and yeah, just I think all the cool little indie games, they were they were fun. Bug Fables. Uh, Mon Cage, which was like that weird perspective game. And uh the dice games that I played. Like Slice and Dice and Dicey Dungeons. Loads of fun. I don't think I can ditch anything here. Which, hmm. I think I'm just gonna go. The one that surprised me in terms of how much I enjoyed it are uh, Vampire Survivors. <sighs> just when I first heard about it, I was just. 
I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting to get that hooked on it, but then once I started playing it, I was like, oh, I see. It's one of these. So. Pretty fun. In terms of non-gaming media, let's see. This year, I caught up on Better Call Saul, and I enjoyed it. Thought it was great. Because it did end this year, and, you know, I'm glad that I caught up and watched the finale and everything. So, that was cool. Quite enjoyed that. Um, I don't know where I'd put it compared to Breaking Bad, but I think both are their own thing and at the same time share similarities, so yeah, it was uh, pretty cool to see that. I'm going to put this away and make room for the pineapple. And on the anime side of things, I mean, I'm a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so it was cool to uh, get to see Stone Ocean. I, I quite enjoyed the arc. Alright. But I mean, as far as movies go, so I don't think there's really a standout movie for me this year. That I'm going to say it was, like, completely amazing. I did see the Sonic movie, and you know, I enjoyed that, but... Other than that, yeah. I think this year I've been focusing more on, like, watching older media. Between TV shows and movies, like, I've just been watching older stuff, because I feel like... I just got a uh, superhero movie fatigue. Just too, just been watching too many of them. So I just didn't really watch that much this year. And same with TV shows. Like I've just been watching older TV shows. Stuff that I haven't watched before. And things that I, I kind of stopped keeping track. So like... I caught up on It's Always Sunny in Philly, and I was glad I did that. I'll talk about more about the kind of stuff that I have planned for this new year, but not yet. Once the new year hits, which will be like in about 25 minutes or so, 30 minutes, I don't know, roughly that. And we'll see how long I'll stay up. I mean, if it's relatively quiet, I might, like, go to go to bed, <laughs> but we'll see. The Stardew streams have been pretty fun, and I know people are enjoying them. But, you know, starting next week, I, I won't be able to stay up like I have been doing, as I'll be back at work. But, well, I think on weekends I can still do it. Such is the life of the Australian streamer. But yeah, I mean, I imagine people are getting up and getting ready to do their own thing for New Year's. Oops.
Okay, it's the Edge Lord's birthday today. Um, I'm gonna go to Gunther as well and give him another one of these. And I'll make a cookie and go see. Where is she? Cookie. I'm gonna take the Nautilus shells to the island because the kid likes them. Um, oh yeah. Lance is in town. Alright. I think that should do for presents for now. I believe Krobus is, is at max already. Yeah. And the dwarf. Where's the dwarf? Dwarf needs one more. Got Marlin as well. Nice. Nice and easy for me. Okay, um... Dwarf. Okay, not quite there with friendship. I think one more and that'll do. Oh, it's Kent. Hmm? Hey, Warrior, nice to see you. I just finished my hike. It's gorgeous up here. Would be easy to get used to the sights like this. So what brings you up here? Just enjoying the weather. It's a beautiful day to enjoy. Being back home just isn't the same for me. The person I was before my tour isn't coming back. I think what would really help is if I found something to focus on so my mind doesn't wander so much. A new hobby, maybe? Making more friends or finding a new appreciation for something. I've tried hiking and getting back into watching sports, but nothing's cutting it for me. I have a question for you. Do you think the guild is worth checking out? Yeah, it is. Hmm, the adventuring scene has gotten more lively since my tour. I'll consider it. I'm going to ponder by myself. You take care, Wario. Again? Well, time to head back. No, I think it's just different. Hmm. Oh. Thanks, I'll find some use for this. Worry, we have a new guild member. His name's Kent. He seems fond of you. Do you know each other? Well, that was quick. Oh. Well, I've already seen Lance anyway. Where is Sultan? Damn it. <laughs> I 
I just have to hope that these last two just appear. Oh. Hello, Aria. Perfect timing. I just got back from Grampleton. During winter, the snow blankets and the meadows there. Wait. The snow blankets the meadows there. Oh, sorry. And everything is beautiful still. Every year, I try to get out there and see it at least once after the first snowfall. I have a few close friends in Grampleton. We have crafting circles where we get all our work together and work on our projects. This time, I made some lovely hardwood flower pots. It's pretty chill, chilly out here, Wario. Would you like to come inside? I'll make you a cup of cocoa. Sure. Let's get inside, Wario. So, I wonder if this is just specific to winter. Here you are, sweetie. Be careful, it's a little hot. Well, that must be a record. Never before have I seen someone drink hot cocoa that quickly. You must have been freezing. Oh, I was going to tell you more about my trip. The hot cocoa was delicious. Susan told me about her friends in Grampleton. She also showed me a chest she's crafting and knickknacks from many places she's visited across the world. Okay, there's even more. Okay. Hey there, didn't expect to run into anyone. I come here to use the gym. They have better equipment than I have in my room. Not to mention there's a sauna after a tough workout. Remember when the entrance to this place was blocked off? Jojo was moving large crates off a train and a truck slammed into the rocks causing the rock slide. Jojo sure did take the time fixing, <laughs> excuse me, their mistake. Susan was isolated from Pelican Town for months and no one could get to her. I'm still sick. You may have heard a huge blast that almost felt like an earthquake pretty soon after you moved here. That was Jojo using dynamite to blow up the rocks. Anyway. Why are you at the railroad? I nah, was just saying hi to Susan. I sometimes run into her when I come to use the gym and sauna. She's always productive and busy. You know, I didn't always work out every day. I told you I lived with my father when I was younger. The living conditions were harsh. I used to... F I used... Wait, I used food to cope. All right. At one point, I was eating over 4,000 calories a day. I was considered obese. I knew what I was doing wasn't healthy. I would keep telling myself, tomorrow's the day, or I'll work on it. I'd exercise for a few days and then just give up. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months. It was all action. It was all talk, no action. Jeez. I feel like sometimes I'm a little dyslexic. <laughs> and then one day, I finally had enough. I realized my dreams would never come true unless I took control over my own destiny. So I forced myself into a routine. It was really tough at first, but after a while I started seeing results that made me want to keep pushing myself. I used to not be able to do a single pull-up, now I can do 30 in a row. You should chase your dreams too, no matter how much work it'll take or how distant the goal is. You're trans you transformed an overgrown dump into a beautiful farm, that's huge and I'm jealous of how much you've accomplished. Yeah, sorry, I tend to rant about things sometimes. It's a lot of work. You achieved a lot too. Thanks, Warrior. I appreciate it. You've become a good friend. I knew I could trust you to listen. I'll let you get back to your day. See you around.
cookies. These look delicious, thank you. Stop by again for more hot cocoa. Almost there. I feel like it's quicker to do... Oh, hang on. Let's just double check. Oh, no, he's at home. Okay, never mind. Never mind. What is the birthday boy? Oh, yes! Crystal. Oh, it's my birthday day? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Hey, don't let me stop you from getting your work done. If you aren't busy, I don't mind you stick if you stick around. Alright, cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. How much did that give? <clears throat> I mean, I guess it must have stuck. Hang on. Uh, okay, yeah. That's fair. I'm working on it. <clears throat> Okay, not quite. How close is he? One more heart. Okay. Wait, how's B Chipster's relationship going? Okay, B Chipster's finished. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty well. I might be able to have all the friendships done. Oh yeah, Kent. Yeah. Hey, Wario, I'm now a guild member. I don't- I won't get into anything dangerous, I've just found an appreciation for adventurers. Alright. Happy for you. Lobster. I just need one- I'm pretty sure I just need one more. And then I can go to... the special place. Are you sure? This is so nice. Yep. Be careful in the volcano. The spirits don't like outsiders. <clears throat> I brought a ruby because I think that's the solution, but we'll see. Okay. I think it may be Topaz. 
I can just try with a different gem and brute force it. I will get it. Don't you worry. Oh, it's the kid. Ah! Sorry. It's hard to remember to talk, normally. You think I'm weird, don't you? Not at all. Thanks for saying that. Sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if I had never washed up on this island. Back home, I didn't really care about birds. I never thought to listen to what they might be saying. Though I guess that's normal for normal kids. I wonder what normal kids would have to say about me. Do you think I could ever be a normal kid again? Yeah. Hmm, I guess you're right. Though, living on this island has given me a lot of experiences normal kids would never have. If it weren't for the parrots, who knows what would have happened to me. I'm happy I met them, I'll always consider them my family, even if it makes me a little strange. Anyway, thanks for talking to me, Warrior. Maybe someday you can be part of our family too, haha. <laughs> Here, let me teach you how to say it. Let's play in Parrot Talk. Hmm. I mean, I do have bones, and that's such a waste, but I have to get it. A small gift for the last stream of the year. Thank you so much, Lola Guts. Hope all is well. I mean... I don't think everyone's on December 31st yet, but, you know, if you are, either way, Happy New Year. I've got 15 minutes left in the year, and then I'm off to 2023. I have to bring bones next time. I just need one more nut. <laughs> uh. Or find the note as well, because I think there's one more discovery to be made. Ah! <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Why do I, I never have any luck with the dragons, honestly? It's like, it, even here, that usually signifies a dragon tooth. And there's nothing there. for this. Hang on. Get rid of the fiber. There we go. have to get a dragon too. Okay, there we go. Got one. Um, that. Uh, okay. I mean, as long as I get one, I'm happy. Choose more. Uh, slime. this away. It's not really doing me any benefit. I need more clay, so I have to keep it. Uh, this is tough. I'm gonna put the food away next time I get the chance. I mean, I guess it's almost midnight, but... You know what? Coconuts are just basic ones.
Okay. Give me a sec. I'm just going to refill my water bottle. Okay. <laughs> Heading to Piers, okay. I need to pick up my child more. Oh, it's Marlin. Good morning, Wario. There's something I want to discuss with you. Drop by the guild when you have a moment. Oh. What do you want to discuss? Okay, let's see who else we can deliver presents to. I'm supposed to just make an effort to go see, uh, Apple. Gunther is finished. For this week. Susan Dwarf. Okay. Dwarf. Make another batch of cookies. Andy. Don't think we have any more butterfish, so let's see. What else does Andy like? Go on. Beer made pale ale farmer's lunch. All universal loves. I've been lied to. <laughs> it's not really all. It's like, it should really say one of the universal loves. Do I have farmer's lunch? No, I have autumn's bounty. Hmm. Yeah, it's starfruit wine. Um, blackberry cobbler I might be able to make, though. That works. Kent is roasted hazelnuts. Marlin is Roots Platter. Harvey is Coffee. Edge Lord is Ice Tear. I'm going to take Bone with me. I mean, that should be enough, hopefully. Okay, let's put the presents in order.
All right, let's go. So, yeah, New Year's about to hit here. Well, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I just want to say thank you for a good year. A better year than the last three. Since there was no pandemic to worry about. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just appreciative of anyone that takes time out of the day to watch my corner of the internet, you know. It does mean a lot. So... I'm looking forward to doing some... Some st new things in 2023. Particularly around YouTube, so... Not really gonna have a lot to say about that yet, but I, I do want to mess around with something this year. And I'll get around to it. As far as games go, uh, I have a bunch of games that I want to check out. I already have them planned to some degree, so... There'll be a bit of variety. Isaac will still continue. I'll keep <laughs> plugging away at that. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for a great 2022. And on that note, I am now in 2023, so there you go. Happy New Year. Let me just type that in Discord. There we go. We're done. Oh, this is full. Ah. Maybe I should go give out the presents now and then come back. Because there is quite a bit to do today. Oh, it's a different quality, of course it is. Happy New Year, fireworks working. <laughs> How close are you to fireworks? I don't know if you can hear through the mic, but it's going ballistic outside. I probably won't be around for much longer. Ah, uh, like... If it's more quiet, yeah, I'll just... Take the advantage and get some rest. I put the coffee back. Oh, you can see his Sydney Harbour Frame balcony. Fair enough. That's fairly close. Oh, the fireworks, right. I see. Now here it's like... Gunshots in the distance and then like whistles. Wait, it's not this one. Where is... Oh, Apple's house is here.
Do you give uh, Apple stock for it? Yay, stock for it. Yummy. Apple's hide and sniff of fun. It's a nice start. Have a nice naming. All right. Good night, Laura. You closed up. Madeline, please. They have food for you. Oh, right. He wanted to see us as well. Ah, you're here. It has come to my attention that Lance owns an outpost far up north in the highlands. My boat is docked outside, capable of traveling there. I'll give you permission to use my boat, and but in return I want you to do something for me first. I need a variety of monster parts. Let's talk specifics. Okay. First, roots platter. <laughs> what are the monster parts for? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to say. From what I've been told, the highlands are a dangerous place. Jeez. Okay. I think the solar essence is the problem right now. Okay, we'll go see the edge load first. Oh, can't. Oh, yep. Okay. I mean, how far away? <laughs> you can probably hear the fireworks in the background. I don't know. Okay. I mean, that's getting there. Oh, they're playing, uh, their, their game. Hey, Wario. Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Hmm, it looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower... To try and reclaim the Solarian Star from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. Cool. Why are you ready to choose your character? Short sure am. Healer. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. Cool. Warrior is my favorite. Anyway. Let's begin. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian Staff, a task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month of journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Solarian Staff for his vile purposes. A tower lies before you. Search the back entrance. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trapdoor hidden in the brush beneath his ladder, which your party descends. You find yourself in a sewer like corridor. To your left, a hallway which glows a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase that leads into the dark. Climb the stairs. You've come to a door at the end of the hallway. 
It's time to come to face L Dread Lord Zarth. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Solarian staff. Eh, <laughs> fools. You'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth casts Shadow Beam. You were able to dodge a spell, but your companion is gravely injured. Heal the warrior. Thanks, warrior. Sam charges ahead and strikes down the Zarth, freeing the Slayer Staff from his clutches and restoring peace and order to the world. D rating. <laughs> oh no! I missed! Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Okay. Edge Lord, I have a present for you. There you go. We need to find Susan now. She is at the... Um, where is... Andy. Andy's on the island. Perfect. Lance is also on the island. Um, who's the aquamarine for? Dwarf. It's okay, I can access him easily. Oh yeah, and Harvey. Harvey is doctor's office, so we'll stop there quickly. Coffee. Okay, unfortunately, no. <laughs> Not done. Okay, let's double check Susan's spot. It's still there. Present. Okay, good. Done. Okay, next is mines. Yes! Alright, dwarf done. Yeah, I don't really care about that stuff. Let's just go to the island. Hold on. Hold on. Is Clint here? He is. I got a minute. The only reason I, I say this is because... Oh, and the ruby. Sorry, the topaz. Nice. I got time. I got a little bit of time. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely doing this. Oh, 
I'll get there in time. Andy, my friend, here you go. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. Glug, glug, glug. glug. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, dear. Leah's presence already handled. Mango, banana, mango, banana. Can't be planted here. Can't be planted here. Wait, wh oh. I guess that can't be, I'll just fill that hole up. There we go. And that's it. We did it. Not bad. Well, 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 look who's made it to my secret walnut room. I'm truly impressed. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnuts to gain full access to the island, you decided to push yourself further. Your desire to enter the secret door was so strong that you went above and beyond to get inside. That drive is what sets you apart, kid. You've got a very special energy. That being said, you weren't under the impression that the challenge ended here, were you? No, haha. In fact, the challenge has just begun. On your left, you'll find a board with some very interesting opportunities. Challenges which I've designed just for you will push you to the very limit. However, if you can successfully conquer my challenges, you'll earn exclusive currency. I call them key gems. Just don't put them in your mouth. They're highly radioactive. Ha. <laughs> You can use the machine on your right to trade key gems for powerful rewards. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yes, I have a feeling someone like you will enjoy this very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business to attend to. Just seeing if there's anything new. Horse flute is the priority. Give 50 love gifts in one week. Ugh. I think I can pull this off. Okay, let's do it.
You'll start with the easy, the obvious ones. I wish I would have known sooner. But we'll start with the ob obvious ones. I'm gonna grow a bunch of beet, I think. Just to get this process out of the way. I don't think I have much time for anything else. We'll do some basic hunting today. try but it seems like I might be a bit late today I think I can at the very least handle the wizard Does it reset gift status? No, it doesn't. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Alright, so the people at the bus stop, let's say... Just a sec. Martin. Ice cream, big bark burger. Shit. Okay. What about Claire? Sunflower. Okay, let's get, let's prepare a sunflower. Just in case we run into Claire, which I guess is beneficial. Martin. What's a universal love we can give Martin? Golden pumpkin, rabbit's foot. I think I hung onto a rabbit's foot. I did. Okay, excellent. Um, let's go see the wizard quickly. Rasmodias. That's one. Let's see if I can catch him leaving. It's 
It's too late to go see Sandy. That's like another easy one. Hey, Gammy, Happy New Year. How's it going? I'm just trying to think how I can do this. Mmm, nah. I think I'm better off just worrying about this tomorrow. How's your uh, New Year been treating you, dude? Sophia likes puppy fish. Casey Donovan on New Year's Eve again. <laughs> Oh no, dude. She was okay? Yeah. That's fine. Nah, I, I burnt my foot today. Going outside, uh... I got fairy- I got plenty of fairy rose, that's easy. Easy. Because it was hot. I went to take out the trash and, uh... Yeah. I didn't think it was... I didn't think it was that hot. So, you know, I walk to the curb, put stuff out. And as I'm halfway through it, my feet start hurting. I'm like, oh shit, it's hot. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, my left foot hurts, but other than that, I'm fine. You had a few drinks with the neighbors, went around 10 p.m. upstairs and watched the broadcast on ABC. Nice. Nice and chill one. Nothing wrong with that. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Okay, so here's the problem with this is, is it doesn't reset presents, so like some of these I won't be able to do. Harvey I can do. Oh, like I'm sure it'll be gone tomorrow, just right now, like just still feel still feeling that stinging sensation, you know? Which is it's kinda funny. Still a little sick, but uh, I'm fine. I'll cope. Yeah, just kind of kicking back. It's a bit of a quiet one this year. Did I do anything? No, no. I, I stayed home. Like, I was sick. Um, I didn't want to get anyone else sick, so yeah, I've stayed home. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna do some of these easy ones. Alright, so Emily likes Amethyst. Done. Or any any gem, really. This will cover Emily and Thingy. Clint. Um, let's just see what else we can do here. Gunther can't gift. Maru. Okay, this will cover... Haley and uh, Sandy. Poppy, who likes Poppy? Okay, hang on. I'm looking at easy ones. Sam is Soda. 
So that's easy. Wait, is it? Hang on. Maybe it's not. No, that's just a like. Sam likes cactus fruit. I did not know that. Okay, Sam's a cactus. Okay. Elliot is feather. Harvey is coffee. Sebastian, I think I've given to. Shane. Let's see, Shane. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to keep it chill on New Year's, typically. Okay, that's Shane. This is also Lewis. Um, George is Lake. Do I have any Lake here? But it might be in the fridge. Rich Lady. Uh, someone likes Poppy, but I forget who. I think it might be Penny. Penny likes Poppy, yep. Okay. Uh, Maru. Thingo. Sorry. Uh, what's Abigail like? Abigail I know is pumpkin. Amethyst. Abigail likes amethyst. Okay, amethyst. I don't want to give her a pumpkin. The wizard again. For this. Uh... This is a lot already, but, you know, I want to get as much done as I can. Willy is a diamond. Okay, I need to look at some of these other ones. Uh, what's Caroline? Green tea, some spangle, don't have any of those. Uh, right, Krobus is horseradish. Krobus is horseradish. That covers George, this covers Krobus. Um, what about Linus? Cactus fruit. La Linus is another cactus boy or coconut boy. Hold on. Uh, go another cactus. And then... Fairy Rose for Jazz. This is so involved. <laughs> I'm doing um, a specific quest here where you have to give 50 presents that people absolutely love in one week. Pierre only loves calamari, so that's not happening. Robin. Goat cheese, peach. Alright, I guess we can give a peach to Robin. And then it's just a matter of finding everyone, like, ugh, this is gonna be annoying. It's pretty much go around town and give presents everywhere. I think that's everyone. Granny. What is Granny like? Granny's another fairy rose enthusiast, so I'll get, I'll get rid of another fairy rose. Okay. I'm ready. I'm I'm just gonna do the present giving now. Like just go go go. <laughs> I 
It's the present circuit. First stop. Okay, Marnie. Uh, I might have to look this up again. What did Marnie like? Okay, first of all, Jazz, Fairy Rose. Yep. Now, you, Pepper. I remember you two. It doesn't matter if I forget. Like, I'll look it up. Marnie is a di diamond pumpkin pie. Oh. I guess I didn't account for Marnie liking a diamond, but fine. I'll go back and get another diamond. After I go see the wizard. Dun 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 Where is he? He's in his special room. Bizarre. Okay, let's go Sandy next. I'll get this while I'm here. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna pick up two diamonds just in case. Everyone's going to be at the bar as well tonight, so that's going to be such a convenient day to do this. But for now... Okay, Harvey's in here. Let's get him his coffee. Great. Uh, I think I've already gifted... Okay, so... Abigail, you get this... Pierre, there's, there's no point. Jody. What was Jody? Jody's another diamond. I'm glad I brought a spare diamond. Okay, uh, Granny. George. Lewis. I forgot what Gus likes. Gus, what do you like? Another diamond orange tropical curry. Okay. Um. Look, let's just... I can always go get another one. This is just in the interest of getting around to everyone. Sam. Sam was cactus, right? Yes. Sam. Oh. <laughs> Great, everyone has their stone. Now close your eyes and take slow, deep breaths. Focus on your lungs. They added Olivia to this. Visualize the pure energy flowing into your body with every breath. 
And now when you exhale, feel all the tension and negative energy flowing out, leaving you more, more relaxed with every breath. Now open your heart to the vibrational frequency of your stone. Do you feel anything? Nope. No. Oh, I do. Relaxed. <laughs> Haley is just asleep. Okay. Haley is coconut. Doing well. I didn't make Leah a salad, but because I, I think we've already gifted Leah twice this week. Potentially. We could have gifted Kent. No, we haven't. All right, that's another contender, but we can always go home. Krebus. She'll be at the bar later. B chips, though. Penny, oh, I forgot about Vincent. It's okay. We can go. We can go back. Hello, future person. How's life? Life is good in 2023. How's it going, Seth? How's things? Okay, we're going for another, another lap. Friendship lap. Nuts. And salad. Diamonds were popular. So let's get a couple more. The fruit. Get a grape. I'm just gonna get one of each fruit just in case, like maybe. Maybe they can be good presents. Anyway. You still have another 10 hours in 2022, but going to a friend for board games and drinks later, so I can't complain. Oh, that's a nice way to end the year. That's my kind of way to end the year. I like more chill things as opposed to like going out to a big bash. Well, have fun, dude. Okay, gripe. Go to Clint. He's not here. I think I may have gone too far. Uh, who else do we need to get today? Edgelord's already gotten two presents from me this week, so it can't happen this week. Um, Lewis has already gotten present. Maru, Demetrius, Robin. All right. Robin is Peach. Demetrius is Strawberry. Drop pics of your it. Christmas gift from the wife on Discord, and now I'm more against the storm and chatting. Oh, right, let's see. Oh, whoa. I know a few people that would appreciate that, like, 
there are quite a few Lego enthusiasts. Like, I think Amy's into it. The thing is massive. How long does that take you to build? Okay, uh, Robin is Peach. Demetrius, Strawberry. Where's Maru? Maru's out here. It took around eight hours. Yeah, I can imagine. I have a friend who's really into Lego, and, uh... I don't know if he still works for this company, but they... Pretty much go around the country and they just do these little display. I wouldn't say little displays. They're big displays of Lego. So he builds very big models. But yeah, the dude's always been into Lego. So I got to go to one of those uh, showings one year and it was, yeah, it was really cool. Um, what does Andy like again? Andy, I think I can just please with a beer. Oh, what is this? A red moon, please. Okay, Maru. Thanks, Avi. Thanks, Gus. Maru, over here, dear. It's a full house at the saloon tonight. I don't think I've ever seen it just packed. Also, I'm watching... I'm watching... Lois. <laughs> I'm watching Lois. Emily will take your order soon. I'll wear her down for you when... She sees us. I'm sampling a new brand of wine from Sunshine Vineyard. It came all the way from the Fern Islands. That never ceased to amaze me. Gas! I strongly dislike beer. It tastes like moldy bread to me. I prefer dry red wine. Thank you. The life of a farmer seems very demanding. I sometimes catch a glimpse of what you going... Wait, I sometimes catch a glimpse of you going about your days with great haste. There we go. Tell me, how do you do it? Foraging and making food on the go? My, my. If you ever require a home-cooked meal, don't hesitate to drop by my residence. Oh? Eh? Sorry, Wari, I've had my hands full tonight. There are so many people. What would you like to drink? Um... Yeah, this one. You must really love your gin, Wari. Lunar Horizon is strong. I'll be right back with your drink. Emily is a wonderful voracious. My favorite cocktail is the Red Moon. I'm satisfied with my wine for tonight, though. I mean, if I'm going to have a cocktail, I like mojito. Here you are, warrior. I want to tell you about some of my family residing in the Gotoro Empire, dear. <laughs> I love this cutscene has people, but then it's suddenly empty. Okay. That's Andy, but like, who else do we have in here? We've covered Shane. Bia. Um, damn it. <laughs> what does Victor like? 
Emily, I'll give the... Oh shit, right. I looked at the wrong wiki. Battery, duck feather, loon knight, blue moon, butterfish. I don't have any of this. Wait, spaghetti. Spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Spaghetti! Um, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. And then Emily... Where's Clint? Okay, there's Willy. Fuck's Clint. Oh, right, okay. Just to save time. Beer to go. We're gonna catch up to them. They're coming- Gah! Willy! They're coming back from the island resort. I think he's already been given enough presents. Oh. Okay, cutscene. Oh, why are you saw me crying? It was today, 12 years ago, that my mom died. I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss the grid ball with me in the backyard. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good sandwich. I mean, I'm just picturing a sandwich with just radish and salt, but that's just my, my poor upbringing. Because, uh, like, breakfast sometimes was tortilla with, like, a slice of cheese. <laughs> so I'm just picturing this dude having just radish and salt. <laughs> like, I'm sure there was more stuff in there. But I, I like to think it's just, just a radish on a sandwich. Yeah, exactly. She took good care of me and I was too young to really say thanks. And now she's gone forever. This is the only keepsake I have left, a secret music box. Yeah. Oh. So, what are you thinking right now, Wario? Only a mother's memory, but always doing your best. Yes, I know. That's why I've been so determined to be successful with my sports stuff. Make it or not, as long as I try my hardest, I think she'd be proud. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in sitting around stippling. Let's head back to town. No, I don't want to go back to town. I don't want to stop. Um, Wario? Yes. Don't tell anyone I was crying, okay? Oh my god. Hey! Okay, I have to be careful here. Um, Pam, BR. Clint, there. Okay, now all we have left... All we have left is, uh... If we get to see Claire, so be it, but otherwise... I'm pretty sure I've gifted everyone except one person. How many presents have I given? I've done- <laughs> in one day I've done 31. So you know what? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all.
I mean, my whole day is gone, but you know. Okay, uh, you're a cac- wait. Coconut or cactus? I can't remember. It's one or the other or both. It's either, so... Coconuts. Um, let's see who else we can do. We didn't give Alex anything? What was Alex? Complete breakfast, I remember. But he's going home, he's not hanging out at the bar. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, not all of them are revealed, but... I have a reference. In-game. <laughs> what? Okay. This is all- this has always been here, Nikto. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> Hello. Oh, apples. I can go to apples. I'll try to run into Claire. It only shows the gift you've given. Yeah, pretty much. So it keeps track of what you've tried. But, I mean, once you look it up on the wiki and you give him a love gift, you don't need to look it up again. Just click the name. It's not obvious because if you follow the way pointers work, again, me being a UX nerd and doing it for a living, it should turn into like, if something is clickable, the convention is to like, make it a finger. So then you know, oh, this is clickable. It does have a hover state, but the hover state just isn't always the obvious. Like the cursor changing usually is is a requirement as well let's just see if she because she works here yeah it doesn't look like it okay let's just go give apples a star for it I don't know how long it's been in the game for. But it feels like a while. So tomorrow I just have to do 18. Not the complete loop I did today, but... I've done well. I just need to prepare presents. You give apples a star fruit? Yay, star fruit yummy. You're welcome, apple. Apples, not it's apple. Apples. I had to neglect animal caring today, but yeah, I mean, I'm going for that horse whistle. <laughs> Smash this apple product with. A Smash Brothers hammer? Oh dear. You know, that's just a Donkey Kong hammer, right? Like... 
I know, I know, pedantic, but... How's it going, Kira? Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like... Just need to come up with new jokes, like... Smashing an Apple product with a Smash Brothers hammer is so 2022. I would know, because I'm in 2023 and, you know, that joke is a thing of the past. Oh yeah, you're gonna hear this all night. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022, I know. That's why I said it. I'm just saying it's a thing of the past. <laughs> Quite literally a thing of the past. It's so last year. How's the future looking so far? I mean, it's fine here. I think the fireworks have finally stopped. Oh shit. That's gonna be a problem. I mean, let's just... There we go. Accident. That's gonna happen more than once. But yeah, let's see. I mean... Still a little sick. And, uh... Let's see. I sort of burnt my foot earlier. Going outside to put trash when uh, it was hot. And the, uh, the, the pavement, I wasn't anticipating to be that hot. <laughs> so, you know, I'm putting out my, my trash, and I'm going about some, my business, and then I'm like, oh shit, it's actually hot. So I'm rushing to put all my trash in the dumpster, and then running back. So, I mean, my right foot's okay, but I think my left foot, I can still feel the stinging. Yeah, you want to talk about slipping on ice? Here's, here's what we do in Australia instead. <laughs> you want to get your foot burnt? It's my own fault, like, for being lazy and not putting on shoes or something. Shall we amputate? I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, that may have been, like, an amicable medical solution in the year 2022. But here in the year 2023, we have evolved past those primitive medical techniques. <laughs> ah, I love New Year's. Catch me a link card already, yeah. <laughs> Shall we just cut it off since I'm being me? Ah, uh, oh dear. Okay. How many presents do I have to give? I have to give 16, so let's plan out 16 presents. So that's... Haley. Uh, there's already... There's already four presents here. No. Three. Four. Four presents with Sandy. Okay, cool. Let's see who else we can gift. I can't gift the wizard, so that's out of the question. If we take, like... <laughs> Hold on. Four diamonds, that covers it. Abigail, Emily, Clint. So let's see, that's... Um... Who else am I missing here? Hold on. Trying to plan this accordingly. Uh... I don't have to do that many today. That... I think I got horseradish outside. Let's make another 
I don't think I... Oh, no, it's Leah. I can't gift. Um, complete breakfast. Okay, cool. Granny. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two more. Oh, yeah, Jazz. Fifteen. <laughs> Marnie likes diamond. Um, Peppers, I think we'll cover the last two. Okay, we're ready to go. <laughs> In the interest of speed. Also, I know I'm running low on these, so I'm gonna take the stack as well with me. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Present time. I don't believe they're open early, right? <laughs> Who's Who can we catch at this hour? So, let's start with Krobus. Wait, no, no, hold on. Willy, you're here. One. Did I bring- I didn't bring horseradish for Krobus, shit. I think I got time to go get it. So, what are, what are everyone's plans for New Year's, aside from Seth? But Seth can repeat if wants others to know as well. Okay. Marnie, Diamond, you, Pep. Jasmine, Fairy Rose. You're about to say, do you not get plants? <laughs> no, you do. You can if you want. I just meant, like, because I had already heard it. But then I remembered, wait, like, not everyone's heard of it. Uh, Andy, I've already gifted twice, so. Seth is undefeated? In what way? What do you mean, undefeated? Oh, that is, uh... That's a definition of convenience right there. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shit. <laughs> Best new plants for New Year's. Nictor, I did nothing. <laughs> I'm here... I'm here in my room with, like, a semi-burnt foot. I think you can top that. Sick and with a semi-burnt foot. <laughs> you'll match me? What, you'll go burn your left foot as well? You're gonna go get sick and then burn your foot? I've said this before, there's nothing wrong with doing nothing. Like... Where is the old man? Oh, they're up there. Just slip on the ice and do nothing. I guess that's the Scandinavian equivalent of burning with one foot. Lit. 
Quake. Fairy Rose. Why do they have to make this so hard? Where the heck is... Sam's best friend, Haley, Emily. I guess they're all here. Oh, it's another Emily cutscene. Come in, Warrior. I want to show you something. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back and relax. And allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? <laughs> you want... Fine. Oh, yes! There you go. Oh, yes. Dripping balls, yes. Look at it. Work that booty, yes. Yes. Wario's about to enter the stratosphere. Oh, yes, the drugs are kicking in. <laughs> so, what did you think? That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Phew, that was quite a workout. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. What the fuck is a graduation fiesta? Well, I'd better take a shower. Thanks for watching. Excuse me, is he walk- is- Is he walking a chicken around town? What do you mean? <laughs> Since when does he do this? Since when does he walk a chicken around town? Chick magnet? Ah. Ah. Well, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little 22, 22 for me. Yeah, a little. <laughs> Future man has evolved past that. Yes, puns completely die out the moment 2023 hits. Hate to break it to ya.
Oh, he's at the spa. Okay, I see. How many presents do I have left to do? Two more. It's done. <laughs> Life's not worth it in 2023 then. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wait, is Robin here? Yes. What are you- Demetrius! <laughs> oh, oh, dick. I'm afraid to click. <laughs> you wanker. This just affirms why I don't like the guy. Oh, oh, I ate the present. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Haha. -ha! Universal present. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There's still time to go get another one. But I think I'm just gonna tend to the... Gonna make mead. Oh, I mean, hey, that was just a two-day investment, and I got it done. Can't be too, too mad at that. I just have to go check the farm tomorrow. Oh, there's another rabbit's foot. Hang on. I think I put my one in there, actually. It's not a new one. It's okay. It's safekeeping. Don't you worry. I'm gonna do one thing very quickly. Oh. Suppose I should pick these up.
Yeah, look at all that spicy eel. There we go. Replenished. One million gold. I think I'm good. Yeah, all right. Let's teleport back. <laughs> I hate that I didn't see this cave in until way later. But this would have been amazingly useful early on. <laughs> Alright. Completed. I, don't, I, I could get more, but I'm not going to. Christmas lights on the house is cute. They do look nice. I just wish they weren't RGB. I'm sure... <laughs> a few years ago, I wouldn't have had that opinion, but... I don't know. I feel like RGB lights are everywhere. Wait, isn't there one here usually? Weird. Hmm. Strange. The night market will be in town. Okay, I have these again, so let's just... The cheese factory is going to expand. I actually don't know how many I need, so I'm just gonna assume 70. I don't wanna overdo it. Oh. Ooh. I can still do it. I can still do it. I think I can still do it. I mean, today I'm definitely going there, so, you know, it's fine. 
Also, it's possible this is done. No, not yet. Almost. Clothing therapy, please come to the mayor's house today. Chocolate cake. Yeah. I'm gonna go give the dwarf a present. Right, wrong chest. I hate that this is uneven, but I guess it's better than nothing. Okay. Meat is done. Let's do another batch of it. I have enough. Why do I have this? Oh, dwarf. Thinking. I'll see what else I can do friendship-wise as well. Pop into the cheese factory as well. It's all done. The whole thing is done. Okay, I guess I can fill it up again. Oh, I'm about to make a lot of money. I don't know, I feel like this is too much, you know? Fuck. <laughs> How do I keep doing that? I think that time it was actually my bad. So, I mean, look. We can fit more. <laughs> but I think for now... Mental. Look at that. So much cheese.
The only question is like what to do afterwards. I think I have to expand my my dairy oper operation a little. But I'm glad I saved all this cheese, like, this was a case of save for a bigger reward later. <laughs> I think I can afford Pam's new house. I think I just need wood. Right, with the ch ah, it's stuck in the fridge. <laughs> Shit. It's stacked with the milk. I can always stop the day just going back and forth from this. I need the teleporter to that thing. It's, it's just. You know what? I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm taking the whole stack. I, I'm tired of that happening. At this point, I, I may as well collect it. Please tell me if I miss one. I usually do. That was pretty thorough. I don't think I have time for friendship today. The exception of the kid on the island. Oh, I think I left the presents over there. Alright, let's get over there. Okay, so what do we need to catch for this? We need... Lionfish, blue discus, stingray. Okay. Let's work on the blue discus first. Oh, Kent's here. Let me just talk to him and see if I can... Have I tried the Wade Satchel mod? Introduces new herbs on the map, and you can buy a Wade Satchel to store the herbs. You get a crafting recipe for a pipe. Uh, I haven't. I stuck with just Stardew Valley Expanded and just uh, cosmetic mods. Because I believe, like, I looked at the Stardew Valley Expanded wiki, sometimes other mods clash with it. So, to not complicate the experience. I just kept it simple for the time being. 
Like, I didn't want to go overboard. Oh, cool. They needed it. I hate fishing in this river. Okay, hang on. There has to be a better spot. You're joking about there is one in Skyrim. Psst. Well, I don't know. I have to take what people say at face value. So I can assume you're telling the truth to begin with, but then next time I'll be like, aha, I'm not going to believe it. One more. I don't think I'm gonna get this done. Five Stingray, like, ugh. That's gonna be the hard one. What's 2023 like? Uh, I think it's fine so far. Did you know that puns don't exist in 2023? <laughs> Oh, right there, here. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. <laughs> That's punishable. Oh, please. That, la that joke is so last year, Nick. Oh, I already got one. Maybe this is doable. I remember these being harder to catch. That's why he's still doing it because he can. <laughs> Sorry, coughing. Because he can. Yeah. Fair. Enjoy the last few hours that you have with puns.
gonna I mean for me in case you didn't you didn't hear it with that cough I'm sick and my left foot is like it stings a little because I burnt it on the uh the pavement's footpath whatever you want to call it earlier because it was hot So no, that that was that was an experience. It's my 2023. I have to keep reiterating it for new people. You would never go out barefoot. I mean, it, did, it didn't feel hot, and it's just a habit. Growing up, we'd walk around barefoot quite a bit. But yeah, I had to take out the trash quickly, and then I couldn't find my shoes, so I was like, ah, fuck it. It's as good as my judgement got early in the morning. Really? Hang on. I still need to catch one. And then lionfish. My first mistake was going outside. Well, sometimes you have to to be a functional adult. I'm going to be sad if this thing disappears at like midnight. Yeah, I might not be able to do this. Now it's... It went from, oh, this is fine, to these super cucumbers are ruining me. Come on. I'll still try. Come on! So, uh, I take it that, uh, if you don't want to go outside fun, you, you're just gonna stay in for New Year's? I think that's the majority of what I've heard so far. Oh, why? Yep, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, I think. Doing nothing is underrated. Okay, well, yeah, this was a wash. This was a wash. COVID on the rise again, you have no immune system. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, it's kind of the same here. Well, I can't say that I didn't try. Okay, give me a sec. I'm just going to refill my water bottle. But look at that sweet, sweet money. I'll be back in 30 seconds.
Okay, thanks for waiting. I also adjusted the air conditioner a little. Okay, there it is. Yes, the rich get richer. Money, 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 money. I mean, I might need more, but let's... Let's just assume this is gonna cover. Fifty-six days to mature, okay. <laughs> Gift of wine to my child. Oh yes, my child! I give you the finest wine Wario can make. Oh yes, look at this glorious wine. Eh? You like it? Drink. I miss one. I think I'm good. I think I did a good job. Okay, today I'm gonna try and do friendships. I'm gonna take some of these and crack them open as well. I have 194 of them. Ridiculous. Okay, now... As far as presents go, I mean, the dwarf still needs a pre- let's just see. Andy is almost done. Can't, let's go give him another roasted hazelnut. Andy, blackberry cobbler. Can't, nuts. Roots platter for, um... Magnus. Gunther is just an artifact. The dwarf is already done, actually. So the Edgelord. I will not say his name. <laughs> the Edgelord. One of the tears for the Edgelord. Uh, yep. And then these are kind of, well, we'll do our best. Oh yeah, Scarlet. What the fuck does Scarlet like? Those, those I'm gonna have to like go out of my way to work on. I'll make some tea. I haven't made tea yet. By the time I go do all this gifting, it should be done, hopefully. Uh, 
Oh yeah, one thing that did the that was good about today. And <laughs> I don't know if I should be telling you this, but like, because <sighs> it's nothing bad. It's just you'll laugh at it because you'll be like, of course, of course, he's excited about that. Okay, so <laughs> a few years ago, there was this uh, restaurant we used to go to at work. And its specialty was that they had chicken wings that they did very cheap and very good. It's like barbecued and it was like an... It was an Asian style barbecue and it was great. But the building burnt down and I was sad. And they reopened this week. So I went and got some of those those chicken wings today, and it was glorious, and it was cheap. So that that is all. Like, I know, I know. <laughs> it's they're so good, but the reason that they're, they're well known here is they have um. They have a particular wing that is just extra, extra spicy, and, you know, people take their challenge. See how many you can eat. Oh, I was so happy. But, yeah, when you go there, every day of the week they have a, uh, a flavor of wing that's like buy one, get one free. Which is even better, right? But, yeah, super good. And it's one of those places that there's a lot of people that complain about it. If you go on the, uh, like any one of the, the food critique places, they'll complain that, oh, the place is like run down and, uh, the service is weird. But honestly... It's because those people aren't used to, like, a very busy restaurant. They want, like, someone to wait on them hand and foot, you know? So. It, if anything, it made me go there even more. I'm just thinking how I'm going to approach this. Oh, yeah, and we got to go see uh, Apple's... Let's go see apples first. I know how I'm gonna do this. But yeah, I, I was happy. I think that'll be like my little reward when I wanna get a reward for myself is just get chicken wings from this place. Where are you? Don't make me go look for you. Oh no, you're here. You got apple star fruit? Yay, star fruit, yummy. Apples no feel the cold, don't worry. So be honest, like, for those that know me, <laughs> when I started talking about something that you would find funny and that I was excited about, did you half expect that it was going to be about chicken? Like, it's okay. Alright. <laughs> uh. Oh, damn it. That's something you'd be excited about, too. Yeah, see? These are... 
these are reasons why I associate with people. If they share a similar like for chicken, they're okay in my book. <laughs> I think that, that would be a deal breaker for me if like... Someone was like, oh, sorry, I hate chicken. It's like, oh, okay, well. That's, uh, that's the end of that. What are you doing? Okay, that's it. Friendship transaction completed. Oh, I don't have much time left. Do I have vegetarians? Not at all. Vegetarians, they, they tend to be cool. Vegans, on the other hand, I mean... Not every vegan, but most vegans I've met, they, uh... They have, like, this... Wanting to change everyone, and... I know, like, I, I know! <laughs> like, I'll, I'm probably gonna get shit from someone. But, I'm talking about the vegans that I've met. Not vegans in general, just to be clear. But, they all, like, uh, yeah, make you feel shitty to some extent, or try to, whether intentional or not. But, I mean, <laughs> I do, I do have this running joke with someone. Um, I do this, this joke, it's a vegan joke. And I'll wait, so enough time has passed, so they forget. Right? And so this is, this is the, the joke. The joke is that I will tell a story, right? And the story will involve something insane happening, right? Like, for example, one of them was that I go to a restaurant, and you know, I'm sitting there, and this dude's wolfing down a steak... And then suddenly he starts choking, his wife panics, and goes, Oh my god, oh my god, someone please help me! My husband is choking, is there a doctor in the house, please? And then this vegan stands up and says, Yes, I'm a vegan. <laughs> I love that. So, I, I do that every now and then, I'll tell some story. And then the punchline is the vegan standing up and saying, Yes, I'm a vegan, yes, hello. When no one's asking. I need to go to Andy and Gump. Oh, but I want to go to the island. Ugh. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. I'm worried that... No, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go to the island, check on my shit, and then come back. Because I'm worried it's going to damage stuff. There's too many... I've been away too many days there. Oh, yeah, and this is on tonight. Willie, no! You're not going anywhere. You're taking me to the island. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, if you enjoyed that, feel free to use it. It's okay. Nothing wrong with people being a vegan. The problem is the incessant need they have to lord over people and be holier than thou. That's pretty much it. Um, the vegetarians I've known have all been cool. Um, you know, they've never really had that kind of attitude, ever. In fact, the first vegetarian I met was at my, my first job in fast food. And it was for a, uh, a chicken fast food outlet. <laughs> so, yeah, she, uh, she was a vegetarian working in, in that. I 
I'm glad I came, because uh, stuff was growing. I'm threatening to hurt my... my island, you know? Also, the shaming for having normal e habits has got to stop. Yeah, I mean... When I've gotten into debates... With the more... The vegans that want to debate about it... There's one question that I, I've asked that... It, it's never failed. But, you know, I ask them what they feed their cat. And I say... and. I say it without asking them, do they have a cat? Because of course they do. Nothing wrong with owning a cat. I love cats. However, I have yet to meet a vegan that doesn't have a cat. <laughs> so, you know, they'll answer. Of course they have to answer cat food, right? And cat food has meat in it. So it's like... They bend their morals to be able to have the pet cat, and at the end of the day, some corporation is making money off them. Right? They don't care about their morals. At the end of the day, they're still giving money to a company that slaughters animals, probably, in a way that they wouldn't approve of. And the other thing is, if they say that they, you know, feed their cat any sort of like vegetable thing then yeah that that's when you can call them out where it's if they're being cruel to that animal and that moral high ground is just gone exactly the problem comes when they say that they don't feed their cat food with meat in it because that is just straight up cruelty it is straight up cruelty they can't digest it So that's kind of my silver bullet, provided they have a cat. It generally shuts them up. Even cat food with a lot of grains and not enough meat is bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I don't think I got to gift Andy. Like, I... He's... I mean, I think I can still see... Kent, perhaps? Andy is somewhere unknown, which I would imagine he's in this house. I'll try. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the common thing where, like, I expect someone... ...to, like, leave a comment and be like, well, actually, well. And I, uh, I only, I only say this stuff when, again, you get that attitude where the person tries to make you feel shitty for eating like a normal person. Like the majority of people, that's just what their diet is. And they try to make you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. And they just keep insisting. Like, that's the only time where I'll be like that, but... If it's just, oh, you know, respectful, well, I, I won't bring it up, because then I'm the arsehole. I don't want to be the arsehole. Wait, he's not here. Where the heck is he? There's a whole bunch of them somewhere, but I don't know where that could be referring to. The night market? But why is that unknown? I guess let's go check the night market. I forgot about the night market, to be honest. I don't know. I, I just wish people would just let people be people, you know? Live their life. If they're not doing harm to you or others, like, leave them alone.
I don't think I can go give uh, Kent his roasted hazelnuts. I don't think they let you barge into their home <laughs> at midnight. Kent, do I have some nuts for you? Yeah, no, can't. It's okay, I'll catch him tomorrow. Um, wait. Oh, Andy's done. So that just leaves Gunther and Kent. And Marlon, I guess, but yeah. I can go a couple days without checking the island. Okay, I did bring the taro root with me. And I'll put the others uh, with the rest. Oh yeah, the tea's done. It's okay, I can put more down. Uh, let's make pumpkin. Oh wait, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Oh, uh, I guess stop for it. Oh, I have a gold pineapple. Um, I guess I'll... Oh, I can do it tomorrow. I can do it next time. Okay. I'm gonna do one more day, and then let it be. Wow, what? 190... Oh, <laughs> the wine, I was like, 196,000? I had to, I had to double take there. Um... We can upgrade Pam's house. Is Harvey at max friendship? I think he is. Because then I, I don't have to keep coffee. Where is he? Yeah, alright, it's done. Found something in the midst of organizing my house. Drop on by and I'll show you. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. Can I make roasted hazelnuts again? Oh shit, I made plum pudding by accident. I don't think there's anyone that likes it. But I had to make it at least once. Oh, I have him here. Alright, fine. Um, how's apples? I can go give apples another star fruit. Marlin. I can't make any more roots platter, so what does Marlin like? Yeah, no, we can't do it anymore. We can give Marlon... I have to be careful, but I can give him a bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna be careful. He likes explosives. I'm 
Can buy my, I guess that's it. Go give apples a present. Um, today... Lance is going to be in town, so... Why does it have to be so easy to swap it? <laughs> My sign is ruined. Like I'm just holding right click to harvest and then it's putting it on the sign. I'm just trying to make things nice. Why, why, why you have to do this game? I think I need to take a chest with me. Oh, we got a new type of row. Okay, uh, that for apples. I didn't split the recording today. I probably should have, <laughs> but I lost track of time. So you get an extra long VOD. Okay, I think these are the only ones I want to give presents to. Lance, I'll... Oh, Gunther, 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 Gunther. No, but we, we're going to open... We're going to crack open those caches anyway. You know, if this was vanilla, I would have every friendship done <laughs> before it came time to be graded. But all these extra NP, <laughs> excuse me, NPCs. Why apples is not in here? Oh, there you are. Meep. Apples met flying friend today. Flying friend gives seeds. Apples already ate seed. Not enough for apples friend, sorry. Flying friend? I wonder what they mean by flying friend. Um, it's too early to go see Marlon. He won't be there till 12. Oh. I kind of lost my bearings. It's okay. Where's Kent? Kent is at home. Alright, cool. <laughs> he's not, he's not there today, but I need him to be there. Okay, I have to go. I have to go get a present for, uh... 
Ah, Gunther. Okay, how much does he have left? Surely, like, after one more it should be done. It's It sucks that uh, you can't use the... The Geode Crusher. I mean, maybe he's just here for a quick checkup and maybe I, I can get him to go back, but... I'm not going to assume that you can. Let's just get Gunther a present. Uh, what have I got for him? I think the sword. Yeah. This has been pretty enjoyable so far. Product goes okay, thank you. Okay, not quite yet. I'm having problems running into Scarlet. I guess because it's winter, she's not working on the farms, because no farms are working. Okay. There we go. Thanks, I'll find some use for this. I'm hoping he heads back. I really do hope he heads back. I guess I got some time to kill. Let's go see Andy. Let's see how much Pam's upgrade costs. It's still 5 p.m., so I think we're okay. I think I need to take wood with me, so. Okay, so what, what did you want to show me? Hey farmer, see you got that letter there of mine? Just wanted to show you something I think you'd appreciate. Found them while cleaning my house. I have an old picture of Aurora Vineyard in his prime. Yeah, take a look. No. I guess it'll... I'm not gonna skip, I'll just wait. That's a nice outdoor setting. Heh, I recall the day Jerry figured out how to craft kegs. 
That was a heck of a party. Elizabeth was a nice lady too. Sometimes she's invited me for tea and cookies. Got this too. Also got a picture of Stardust Farm. Oh, that's the one that where the mouse used to be. That's a nice looking one. Okay. <laughs> Alexa was a sweet girl. Always wore those bright yellow dresses on a sunny day. She grew the prettiest flowers in the valley. The honey and maple syrup from Stardust Farm was so sweet, it'd send the bear spinning. We commissioned Robin to build those their makeshift wooden bridges. Sure it was nice seeing that smile of hers, bright as sunshine. I've come to learn friends come and go. And... You never know when you'll meet a new one. Hmm, hey, let's grab some farmer's lunch. I got fresh forage to go with it. Poor guy. Alright. Oh, I was gonna say it. Come on, I have more wood than that. Um, you know what? On the off chance I can't make it in time. How, why is Clint still at the doctor's? The doctor's is closed. Oh, it's f half a million. Shit. Alright, I'm close. Not Not far off. But now I know. I mean, I'm gonna- if I'm gonna lose all this wood... <laughs> that's just a warning. <laughs> We're gonna go chop wood. Oh, uh, sure, I'll see. I don't think I really need anything from the night market, really. Okay, that's easy done. You know what, let me just see how I am here. Ooh. May have overdone it a little. Let's see. I may have overdone it. <laughs> Just a tad. I 
it's okay. I'll make more bars. There's still the, uh, the matter of the other... The other one. <laughs> There's still plenty of garden space. I haven't really planted anything there. I mean, I probably should. If I was to... I need to pick something that I can kind of put there and just forget about it. I am leaning towards ancient fruit, but I don't know. I would like to think that eventually I can kind of turn it down on the, uh, just being completely about money making and make this a bit more visual. For now, like, I'm maximizing space, but I think, like, eventually I can just add fences and things that just make the whole thing look nicer. As opposed to just defaulting to, no, money, yes! I shall try to do my best later to make this look very nice. <laughs> so, I mean, you can kind of see the extent that I've been, uh, yeah. <laughs> the amount of devastation I've caused here. Yeah. An entire ecosystem just laid to waste. Wait, what? Oh no, there we go. That was weird. Well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'm just gonna finish this day off and then we're done. But, again, as always, I wanna thank you for watching and chilling with me for a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, Happy New Year. If I don't see you all for the next day, I imagine that's probably gonna be the case. But, yeah, just to reiterate, 2022 was... Great. It was nice to have a somewhat normal year after, like, the previous two years, so. You won't see me until next year, I know, right? Such a long time. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I'm hopeful that this year is gonna go back to the way things were. Not completely, but just... Less having to worry that maybe we'll revert back to, uh, what 2020 and 2021 was, so. 
I'm kind of excited to try some new stuff this year, so... I'm not gonna go in-depth about it now, but yeah. I do want to get into making content as opposed to just, like... Editing footage of clips, so... I'll see what I do this year, but... As far as games go, I have some good stuff planned, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Wait, it'll baited bro to see what Elon will do. Ah, uh, just ignore the billionaires. Like, billionaires will be billionaires. I try to not pay attention to what they're doing. Oh, okay. Well, chat, this is, uh, this is the end of, uh, the stream. If you are new around here, uh, thank you so much for checking out my content. Hope you did enjoy yourself. If you did, check it out. If you want to watch more of my stuff, YouTube's the place to go. I upload my VODs over there so they're publishing on a daily basis more or less and then there's a cha channel for highlights and one for uh clips and the occasional youtube stream so i hope you do check that out i will probably do a youtube stream tomorrow um as the tradition is terraria on sundays so I'll probably be doing that over there tomorrow at some point. We'll see. <laughs> Hope my foot feels better soon. Thank you. It should be okay. It's, it just stings a little, but it's not like... I make it sound so dramatic, like, oh no, I damaged my foot, but it's just, it's just stinging. It's okay. It'll be fine by tomorrow. Otherwise, I would have gone to, like, the doctor or something. Alright. Well... Thank you for watching.